In this video, I am going to share three tips that we can do and we can get just by changing and adding some text in Google Slides URL. Specifically, I am going to demonstrate how to share a clutter-free view of Google Slides file, how to share a link that will force someone to copy the file, and how to share a direct download of a PDF file. But before we dive into those tips, allow me first to talk briefly about what is a URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. It is basically the address of a web page. It is the link that we use in order to go to a location in the internet. And when we create Google Slides, a unique link is created that we can share with others. For example, this is the Google Slides file I just made. We can find the URL or the web address at the address bar located at the top of the screen. With this link, we can do a number of things. And in this video, I am going to share three tips that involve the uses of this link. The first tip is creating a preview of the Google Slides file. When we say preview, it means we will not see the menu, buttons, and other tools of Google Slides screen. It's like presentation view, but the browser tab is still visible so we can switch to other tabs easily. To do this, we just simply go to the address bar then find the part that starts with the word edit. Starting from the word edit, highlight then delete. We are going to replace it with the word preview. When I press the enter key on my keyboard, what will appear is the presentation view of the file. As we can see, this is now in presentation view, but the tabs and the full browser are still visible. Here's a bonus tip for hack number one. Notice at the bottom of the screen, there is a navigation toolbar. If you want to remove this, we go back to the address bar and remove the word that starts with edit. We need to change it with preview, question mark, rm equals minimal. After that, press the enter key. As we can see, the navigation toolbar no longer appears. Here we can use our mouse to move to the next slide or our left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to move back and forth. We usually remove the navigation toolbar if we want to limit our user's movement in the presentation. To bring this presentation view back to the editing view, we can go back to the address bar and change the part that starts with preview to edit. We can also share the preview link to anyone on the internet. To do that, we first go to the share button, then in the get link area, click the change to anyone with the link. Select anyone with the link, then choose viewer permission. Let's click the done button. Let's go back to the address bar, then change the part that starts with edit to preview. Copy the complete link, then we can send this to anyone we would like to share this with. What our friends need to do is to only paste the link in the address bar, and what you will see automatically is a presentation view of the file. For our second tip, I am going to show how to easily distribute a copy of Google Slides file. Others call this as a forced copy technique. To do this, let's go to the address bar, remove the part that starts with edit, then replace it with the word copy. Copy the entire link, then share this to your friends. When your friends access that link, they will be required to save a copy first. That copy will be saved in their own Google Drive, and once saved, it will not be connected to the original copy anymore, which means anything done to the file by your friend will not affect your original file. Here's a bonus tip for hack number two. If your file has comments in it and you would like them to be included when you give out a copy of your file, then here's what we can do. We can go to the link at the address bar and replace edit with copy, question mark, copy comments equals true. Our third tip is about how to automatically download a PDF of our Google Slides file by using the shareable link. To make it happen, simply go to the address bar, change the part that starts with edit to export slash PDF. Let's try.
you see it automatically downloaded the PDF file. As a bonus tip, we can change the PDF with other file types like PPTX for PowerPoint, or TXT for text file to download them directly using the link. I hope this video gave you an idea on how we can preview, make a copy, and download file using the URL of a Google Slides file. Please feel free to comment down below other tips and tricks related to URL of Google Slides file. Your comment will be greatly appreciated and will surely help all of us. If you think this video is helpful, please like and share this to your friends. They might be in need of this information right now. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you very much for your support.